Welcome back to Practicing Hydroponics, everyone. We had a very busy day in uh, the grow room today, as well as yesterday. As you can see, we've got uh, a new light, uh, high pressure sodium, over our tomato plants here in the power grower. We have uh, relocated the basil plant that we kicked back from the power grower initially to the Aeroflow. It uh, started doing much better, so we put it back in with the other basil plant that we had in the power grower. We also planted yesterday in an individual module a test of uh, the Roma tomato that was getting a little bit too large for the Aeroflow. We put it into a standalone power grower module. Although you can see STG hail uh, filled in on the top, there's actually a uh, hydrogen underneath that. We have uh, not used hydrogen before. This is our first uh, first use of that. So it'll be good to see how that works for us. As you can see, the uh, butter crunch uh, head of lettuce is getting quite large down there. And I think that's going to become salad this week. All of our, Roma, our cherry tomatoes actually have uh, flowers on them now. We did a nutrient change today. Uh, we switched from the uh, Canna Aqua Vega product to the Canna Aqua Flores product, which is uh, used during the generative stage for flowering and fruiting. So we're actually uh, looking forward to seeing how that works for us as well. The Aeroflow, as you can see, is doing quite well. The Butter Crunch, as usual, are one of our favorite plants, seems to do extremely well for us. The arugula is also doing very well and getting large. I think we've got some salads coming, which is great because uh, fresh greens is something that we just can't get down uh, where we live. The uh, parsley plants are doing extremely well. We're looking forward to having a lot of Italian parsley. That's practically non-existent in our grocery store. Across the back rail, you can see that the yellow peppers are getting quite large. And we've actually got a strategy in mind for these. Uh, since they do grow to be quite large in size, uh, we've got another one down here. And we've got some red peppers that are going to be following these guys. They're a bit small. They were a little slower in uh, germinating for us, as we've noted before in the blog. But uh, they are doing quite well in the, uh, in the Aeroflow. As you can see also, we did... Uh, Quite a few changes to the grow room. I don't know if you uh, remember in our previous vlogs, we used to have a big workbench over here on this, uh, this portion of the grow room. That was all cleared out today. We have a slimmer module uh, over here that is uh, supporting our uh, Gen 3 grow and we'll film on that in a few minutes. And also that station is large enough to support a uh, cloning machine that hopefully Santa Claus will bring me. But the news uh, for today is this space right here. We are going to try an ebb and flow system. Uh, as you know, uh, we currently have a drip system, the power grower. We have an aeroflow system, which is a more of an aeroponics type nutrient film technique type system. Uh, but here we're going to put in a big power or uh, ebb and flow system. And we're also going to support it with uh, LED lights. Uh, because this room uh, currently cannot take any more heat, this uh, split system that we have up here is only about a uh, 10,000 BTU system and uh, it's struggling to hold the temperature down with all these HID lights in it. So uh, as an update to GROW3, as you can see uh, by the results that we're getting, the rapid rooter uh, plugs here on the left as we stated the other day are by far doing uh, quite well and remain in first place the uh, rock wool cubes on the right side are a close second they're doing uh, not quite as well we have a few more sprouts in the uh, rapid rooter plugs and the sure to go cues are starting to sprout a bit more uh, they were slower than the other two mediums and still to this date do not have as many uh, seeds that have germinated. So we'll continue our, our updates on the blog with uh, the status of this grow, grow free. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you next time.